the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, Suicide Squad vs. Critics. So after all the bad reviews, Suicide Squad managed to be number one at the box office. Smashing records at the box office for August proves the power of the DC fan base. But critics are trying so desperately to destroy the DC movies due to being biased against DC. Or they could be paid off by Disney to give DC bad reviews. Now why would Disney care so much for DC movies to fail? It's very simple. They see DC as a threat. They don't want competition. Disney wants Marvel to be the top brand and they'll do any shady crap to make it happen. We've seen what they were doing to the X-Men and Fantastic Four franchises. They stopped producing comics for Fantastic Four and they refused to promote anything X-Men. Which is why Marvel's Avengers Alliance stopped getting additional X-Men characters. I also need to point out that many critics are Marvel fanboys, and it shows. If you actually go to the Rotten Tomatoes website and read the reviews, then compare it to their Marvel reviews, you'll see that there is a bias. Also, you'll notice that the audience score for each DC film is higher than the critic score. So how can the audience love a badly reviewed movie. It's simple. Audience enjoy good movies. Critics can't be trusted. Why do you think movies like the new Ghostbusters film or Superman Returns has a lower audience score despite having a high critic score? It's because those movies aren't well received by audiences. Audiences these days are smarter. They don't trust critics, and neither do I. And yet the Marvel fanboys will go out of their way to insult DC fans, making fun of them on YouTube. Yet, somehow they're not losing subscribers, and I'm not gaining any new ones. Seems my voice will be silenced while these Marvel fanboys continue to get exposure. That's all I got to say. Until next time, say no to fanboyism.